Yo le voy a componer un par de canciones para usted. Oh, no, she drugged him is crazy. What the hell? So she took advantage of him. Nah, be safe out here, kings. You know what I'm saying some of these women, some of these girls will take advantage, man. So definitely be safe. Yo, what to do, YouTube? And we're back with another video. We're back with Palata Bonoskanda featuring Papa Chili, man. It's been a message reaction to Papa Chili, man. Definitely, but definitely, definitely excited to hear this video. See what it's talking about. See what the vibe is. See everything that we've been missing from Papa, man. It's, it feels like it's been some years since we heard from Papa. I can't lie. Like he definitely, he definitely about to see how he coming on this track and see what type of energy and flow he coming on this track as well. Let me know in the comment section if you got any album or EP out, or that's the reason why he's been, you know, MIA. Let me know in the comment section because I'm I'm curious to know because you man you, we and I know y'all been waiting and I've been waiting for some releases by Pablo so can't wait to hear and see what he got in store for us you know what I'm saying but without further ado let's react to it before we activate definitely follow me on my socials link in the description down below follow me on Twitch I'm saying gonna be live on Twitch tomorrow so you definitely don't want to miss that you definitely don't want to miss that right there so without further ado let's go get to the video man. Hace tiempo te buscando la ya para sentir la como que ya See, this was the different type of vibe I was talking about from Hip Hop Palate. If I'm saying, like, hearing this vibe and then hearing the vibe I heard with uh, Gali Gali, Chris MJ, and Intro 23, totally two different vibes right here. Totally two different vibes. So, hearing this vibe and hearing the vibe that he was doing with with that, with those set of artists, I fuck with it. I fuck with the different genre type of vibe. This is more laid back more melody inside of it so I, I i can hear that you know what i mean <laughs> This has that nice little vibe to it. You can tell they talking about, you know, a nice little shorty that they messing with, and how they how they how they handle the situation in this in this in this scene. Right, of course, they talking about a girl that they messing with and how, you know, what I'm saying they treat her in a certain type of way. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like he's pretty much expressing his his love his, and his interest into her, which we we see right here in the, in the gift right here, some some nice diamond diamond necklace right here. Now she drugged him is crazy. What the hell? So she took advantage of him. Nah, be safe out here, Kings. You know what I'm saying some of these women, some of these girls will take advantage, man. So definitely be safe out here. Pablo, 
sido antes Por más que te busco no logro encontrarte No me quiere ver, pero yo sé que me ama Tu perfume es Chanel, todavía sigue en mi cama Tú eres una dama que no anda con cosas raras Porque a mí tú me querías antes que yo me pegara Buscándote hace ya Nah, they trying to hypnotize my man's like, what? They hypnotizing them, trying to take advantage of their money, trying to take advantage of their they paper, everything, bro. It's, it's crazy out here, man. Yeah, you you, you got to be safe out here because sometimes, like I said, in these situations actually do happen where they take advantage of, they, uh, of, they, of their garments and everything that they got on them. Maybe, you know what I'm saying, credit cards, whatever. But it's it's just a funny it's just like a crazy scene because they this is this could actually portray real life type shit. Antes por más que te busco no logro encontrarte no me quiere ver pero yo sé que me ama tu perfume Chanel todavía sigue en mi cama tú eres una dama que no anda con cosas raras porque a mí tú me querías antes que yo me pegara. Now another thing too I feel like Pablo ain't, ain't come too hard on this song I feel like he he just gave like a nice little chill little verse on his vibe I feel like he didn't really do too much. Maybe we gotta hear more tracks from his upcoming, you know what I'm saying, releases that he put out or songs that he put out to really see I right, that did he really is he really just chilling right now because he he got some shit in the back end about to pop out or do he really you know on some chill time nowadays like like I said we haven't heard from him so to hear from him now and to hear what he got it's gonna sound nice. Godfather type vibes, but this type of like black and white, black and white, it's giving me God, Godfather type vibes. So I definitely fuck with how the vibe is and how you know what I'm saying they're portraying that vibe. I fuck with it definitely. And then the way they, you know what I'm saying, the type of uh, attire that they got on is different. <laughs> Man, WWE show support, our friends are straight to me, back in time in the conversation, man. And we out of here.